Okay, I don't see any leaks. So it has been several months with unfortunate fuel issues, finally getting somewhere on this project. But I wanna step back, I wanna show you a few pictures real quick of how things looked like before I started. So here's a picture from Google Earth before any trees were removed. This is the first group here on the north side of the ditch that had to go. And we put a culvert in so we could cross the ditch. The following photo is the first few trees I actually took down in the woods. So let's step back a few months and I will show you where we dropped a big oak tree. I got to clear out some brush with an awesome attachment on the skid steer, along with a few other things leading up to the more recent work where I dropped a handful of trees and what things look like basically right now going into 2024. So let's get to it. Beautiful afternoon here. We're going ready to drop one of the biggest oaks we have back here. And yeah, this one's going to be awesome. So I'm going to share with you guys and let's check it out. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. It got over kind of bit. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me. But that's okay, actually, because in the middle, it's okay. Well, the thing was rumbling. How's your heart? You good? There's a little bit of adrenaline. <laughs> There's always some adrenaline with these big boys. Took off nice and even here. Okay. No pulling. Oh, you didn't pull out. It just no. kind of sheared it. Yep, sheared it off. Awesome. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance on the old p &H excavator back here. And I'm gonna fire it up and let you hear it, let me know what you think, but I'm pretty sure, pretty certain there's a lot of basically junk water again in the fuel, so it just doesn't really wanna make power, and so I wanna fire it up. You can listen to it, let me know what you think, but um, after that, we're gonna shut it off, and we'll go ahead and drain the fuel tank all the way down to completely nothing and go ahead and get more filters again and uh, just know for sure that the fuel is not an issue. So let's get to it. So here recently it's been starting up just fine without any ether. So I'm just going to basically just kind of actuate the throttle a little bit here. I'm not sure if it has an accelerator pump or not, but it's not gonna hurt. All right, starter button's right here and let's see what she does. Just trying to move this log, but it did not want to basically do anything. So at this point, it was time to completely drain the tank, the get to the bottom. Yeah, it just really bogs down pretty easy. Definitely a lot of crud down there. I'm sure it was a good way to flush this tank out. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to do some excavator maintenance. Yes, more and more and more fuel issues, but just want to make sure I captured at least half of them so you can kind of see what it was like getting up to really where we're at today. So let's get to it. So we're going to start out with some maintenance and then we're going to take down some more trees because 
really I want to get this kind of this back area cleared up move stuff around get stuff cut up and all that jazz so basically we need to get this old excavator going we got some fuel I believe some fuel issues going on uh, I did do the new filters there previously along with an inline filter completely drained the tank and did all that still having some issues which so I had to basically stop the other day because this thing just kept dying on me so we got some big logs here I need to get moved before I make too much of a mess but I want to get this excavator going that way as soon as these logs get out of here I can immediately start taking more trees down come on there we go all right so you can see the fuel lines coming around right here and I'll take a light and verify there's nothing in between there but what we're gonna do is just connect the lines right here at this housing and then same thing up front and one end I'll hook up a clear hose so we can capture whatever's in there and put it in a bucket and blow compressed air through it the battery was dead so I couldn't start it up so it's been on charge for a few days because just haven't had a chance to get back out here so we're gonna get this on there and get the fuel line system and everything primed with the electric pump and hopefully it will fire up and actually run fairly decent here all right so it's definitely running better but um, i still think there's some fuel issues going on All right, well I pushed that tree down, which is basically no effort at all. And this one here is giving me some trouble. The machine is not running as good as I thought it was. So basically it's not even good enough to take down a medium sized tree. All right, so this is the end of this tank basically. I decided I am no longer gonna use this fuel tank. It is full of crud. There's no saving it. So you'll see coming up where I went out and got a new tank. Put that on, new fuel lines, everything's fresh. That's what it took to finally get this machine running to where it's really usable. So that will be coming up and let's get back to it. Today, we are gonna do some awesome tree mowing, smallish tree mowing, because we don't want too big of stumps on the ground. And this piece of equipment right here is just amazing. Probably about a six inch blade there. We got a lot to do today and it's gonna be a good time. So let's get to it. So just made it back to the end of the runway here. Back here behind me, when I got the excavator running last time, when I realized it was good enough to actually run to get some more work done, I decided to uh, go ahead and push this maple tree down back here a couple weeks ago so I haven't been back here for a couple weeks I've been traveling actually working on other aircraft the uh, 401 for rebuild rescue along with their Saratoga so what I'm going to do today is is actually take the attachment there on the skid steer drive it back in between the trees that we haven't taken down yet and just kind of clean up the grounds it's really going to help a lot when we drop those trees as far as getting in there and cutting things up All right, so just finished fueling up the tank. I got about 12 gallons in here. 
This was like I said a 25 gallon hydraulic tank about 280 ended up grabbing for about 85 bucks thought it was a decent deal at the discounted price so um, but yeah basically I got everything rigged up where we drilled and tapped a 3 8 barb fitting there for the return line which goes through there this is the top of the engine block and then I just drained both of the fuel filter so it's quite a bit of water in this one I got that one completely empty make sure there's nothing in there as we start clean fresh going into winter we definitely don't want any water in there so I went ahead and bypassed the inline filter because this is 100% clean fuel clean tank I checked everything out looked good inside so shouldn't be any surprises there just went straight down to the barb fitting and this is a little electric boost pump really don't need this while it's running but I will definitely use it to get everything primed back up before we fire it up so should be in good shape I checked the voltage on the battery it's about 12.4 should be good it seems to be a pretty strong battery it's been sitting there for about unfortunately three months but uh, we should be good to go so I'm gonna get the fuel pump going get everything primed and I will keep the camera on here as I get this cranked over hopefully it fires right up and if it does and runs and actually has some power and doesn't want to die essentially uh, right away then I think we're going to be in good shape so uh, this is a pretty big moment so let's see what this thing does because of a filter a very fine filter in the top of the hydraulic tank I had to take that out to where I could actually put fuel in it. So it overflowed naturally and not really worried about that. We're going to clean it off, but connections look good. So let's uh, get this primed and see what happens. Hopefully it will run great and we can get this runway project back on. Okay, so this right here is the kill switch. It's pushed in. I believe that where it is. Here's the fuel pump, see if we can hear it. It's running. Probably want to turn the valve on, right? Okay, so now, we can actually get some fuel down there. Okay, I don't see any leaks. All right, let's try that again. Fuel pump sh should sound a little healthier this time. There we go. All right. Move the throttle. Show you a little bit. Crack this throttle maybe just a little more. Both fuel filters are completely drained out, so let's try this again. So the excavator seems to be running pretty darn good and I think the fuel issue seems to be 100% resolved and I was able to move this big stump right here, if you can really see it, but uh, I was able to move that fairly easy and it did not bog down the machine so I think we're in great shape so I'm going to go ahead and set up, knock a tree down here just to confirm that and we're going to be good to go here really soon after today I'll get set up and we're going to start getting some good headway very soon so good stuff let's get to it hey guys what's up today well tonight I guess you would say it's getting late we're losing daylight here and I'm here with Steven we're gonna go back and push down hopefully at least one tree and I'll show you kind of a recap of what's been going on here the last few months unfortunately it's been a few months but uh, I've been slowly chipping away at this runway project very slowly but i've had a lot of fuel issues we got a new fuel tank on and uh, everything is good to go i'll show you that real quick when we get back there and steven over here he's a career airline pilot and he's going to push down probably the only tree we push down tonight 
and it's probably gonna be dark, but uh, we have lights here on the gator. Hopefully get one tree down as long as it starts up because it is a little cool. So let's get to it. All right, we made it back here, obviously, and we didn't damage anything on the way back. Steven is a professional uh, gator driver. Uh, <laughs> basically any UTV, basically driver, I think. That's down. Yeah, I'm not really sure with the uh, coal and the... Yeah, what do you think? You should let the internet decide. Should be inside or outside? Yeah. Hopefully it fires up. It's a lot warmer today and it did run just about maybe two weeks ago. So it should fire up fine. And as long as it fires up good, then we'll be, uh, be ready for some work. Let's get to it. You know, I couldn't have just like walked around this tree because that'd been too easy. <laughs> so if you've never seen this unit before, you know it's uh, well, you might not know how rough it is. It's pretty rough. So everything is basically on its last leg. So she's mint. Very well broken. But uh, only goal is to get the runway done. And then after that, I really don't care about this unit. <laughs> and I did rebuild three of these four cylinders on this last year. So those are important and those have been taken care of. Still, uh, our cabin still has a leak and it's uh, rough here, so. Small. Yeah, it's just small, you know, 24 by maybe 31 inches. So, so far I have about 15 gallons, I think, in this tank. And I actually have no idea how much it burns per hour as far as fuel. I haven't been able to. How many horsepower? How many horsepower? I it's a uh, Detroit diesel and it is a two cycle four cylinder. So I found this excavator for about three grand and I figured if it runs, I can make it work. So hopefully we can get the project done and it doesn't blow up on us. Maybe by then somebody in the comments can tell me uh, how many horsepower a Detroit diesel of this sort should produce. I'm gonna guess 150? 150, 200? 150 to 200 horsepower. I'm gonna give it 15 gallons an hour. What I've learned with this piece of equipment is 25% power and running at say 85 or almost 100%, it basically doesn't change the power much. <laughs> so it's like, you know, you gotta nurse it along either way. So I'll nurse it along, sip and less fuel. All right, what do you think? Is it gonna start? No. No? Not without fluid. Today, we're gonna run this massive 1970s 18 ton unit, 2,600 feet. So we're going for hopefully by this time next year, it's all gonna be nice and manicured. <laughs> all right, I have to laugh at that because it seems pretty ambitious. But uh, anyways, we got Steven back here. He is gonna be running this machine and cleaning out a lot of this stuff right here in front of me. So we got a lot to do and let's get to it. Alright, I'm gonna have to see if I can reach around here maybe. Okay. 
Okay, fuel pumps on. Get another shot of. All right, clear prop, right? It sounds so good. It's just like I shut it off. It does run smooth. Let it idle there for a few minutes. Can you see 2,000 feet? Can you vision it all the <laughs> way to the road? When do you think this project could be done? Like, if I actually like really work on it, landing a, a plane weeks. on it, or just having the trees out? No, like landing a plane, like touching down right here. Oh, I don't know. Not next year. Not next year. No. No. 2025. 2025, okay. Yeah. Well, I want to shoot for 2024. Shoot 2024. And hopefully it won't be much into 25. All right, be honest with you, I'm very, uh, sometimes, occasionally, often, unrealistic. I'm a pessimist, so. I'm actually going for summer, late summer, fall, 24. We'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah. All right, let's go cut some brush. Really grab some of that and kind of pull it back, smear it around. It's going to be a dip, but just try to smooth it out the best you can with the bucket from there and then here. Take a couple more bites around uh -huh. and then you just shove it over and just drop it. Just let it go. I've never used one. Steven's going to figure this out and by the time he gets over to the tree, he's going to be official rookie. <laughs> so let's get to it. <laughs> Well, you pushed your uh, first sizable tree down. <laughs> yeah. Not very good at this one, though. There goes the last three trees of the day, which is the only trees we did today, because it always takes longer. But Steven got the big white oak up there. He got that down, and I was able to get these down safely. Did not crash, break anything. So this is where we are. It's time to really get in here and start cutting up logs and really just need a whole day of cleanup before we can really move forward but good thing is moving forward just trust me it will go a lot a lot quicker because the trees are a heck of a lot smaller than these right here so 
again, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and be blessed. I will see you in the next one. Later.